Hello, students. For those of you absent, here's what happened in class over the past week. Monday, we started talking about the gases. Of course, many of you had something to say about that. Or something to smell about that. I'm fairly certain I was traumatized. Me too, but I ended up escorting Mr. Bruno out of the classroom for a few minutes while he most likely rethought his career. When I decided to come back, and that my college degrees weren't going to waste, I joined Mrs. Autumn in the lesson. Besides the point, let's get to the lesson. Tuesday, I spoke about gas. More specifically, how it rises and sinks. Heat causes gas to rise. That's why heat vents are found near the floor instead of the ceiling. Gas that is more dense will sink below other gases, like carbon dioxide. Yes, that's carbon dioxide, not carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is actually slightly less dense than air, so move your carbon monoxide alarms higher up on the wall to prevent poisoning. Destiny White also gave a report of how her great something whatever grandparent died in World War I because phosgene was released into the trenches. Because of its density, it sank down low and killed many, many soldiers. Learn your history, kids. Also, there were no puns. Wonderful. Wednesday, we went to the lab, which was amazing. To show how gas loses pressure when cooled, we filled two balloons with hydrogen and put one in the freezer that we, uh, borrowed, without permission, from the cooking class, leaving the first on the table. After 45 minutes of waiting, we saw that the freezer balloon appeared deflated when compared to the first. This shows how cooler temperature slows down the molecules, creating less pressure and consequently less volume. I encourage you to show this experiment to your family, if you have them. Friends if you don't. The local librarian if you have neither. Freddy asked what would happen if we set the hydrogen balloon on fire. So I showed him with a match. I do not encourage you to repeat this part of the experiment. Your homework for the weekend? Look up the Hindenburg disaster. And don't wear fuzzy socks. I love avocado. It's healthy. I'm sure you do. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I, uh, oh God, how do you talk to women? Uh, avocado is great. Yum, yum. Wonderful. I was just trying to review Avogadro's law. All right, well, as we went over on Thursday, gas can be described in four variables. Pressure, volume, temperature, and amount in moles. On Wednesday, I taught you the ideal gas law and how all of these variables work together in the equation PV equals NRT. And you thought you wouldn't be doing any math in chemistry class. This ideal gas law is made up of the three smaller laws. Boyle's law, Charles's law, and Avocado... Uh, Avogadro's law. Avocado, with a mole. It's easier to remember by saying avocado. But if you put avocado in your quiz test, you might not get any points. Yeah, please don't do that. Use it as a way to remember, not as a... Well, you understand. Friday, we took a nap. We did not. Oh, okay. Friday, you took a nap. And some of the kids. Students. I like saying kids. Children, they're wonderful. Yeah, I have my fill of children at school. You love them. My only true love is science. All right, Mr. Bruno. The next Todrick Duff, the science buff. I had to take over Friday. Do you even know what we did? Of course. I I just wanted I just wanted you to say it. Friday, we reviewed what we've been learning all week. We played a game. Now I'm glad I was asleep. Ahem. We played a game online with Todrick Duff the Science Buff Science Simulator Extravaganza Supreme. It has an abnormally long name. 
It was a question-answer game of sorts. We divided the class in half and let the two teams pick a team name. Team one was the Avengers, and team two was Candy Floss. Many of you were asking what was going on because the website we used to play the game seemed to be in Japanese. Good thing I'm fluent in seven languages. Friday was a very fun day, and some of you know a bit more about gases. And Japanese, which is a plus. You can speak Japanese? Where was I during this? After the game, we listened to- You wouldn't! Is there a problem? Kanye? Without me? No! Now that my heart has shattered, for homework, look up the Hindenburg disaster. Be prepared to discuss on Monday. I'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week.